What's up everybody, Mr. OG Games here, and today we're taking a look at the all new Colossus. And I wanted to go over with you what we've found on day one of Colossus. Uh, also, what I've gathered from it so far, and also what's been brought to me from the OG Nation chat, where it's being heavily debated and kind of looking at all other ways of testing it and what this thing is actually going to be able to do for you and your city. So Colossus is basically where you can pick one, as you can see now, either infantry, cavalry, archers, or mages. And once you do this, you can update certain skill sets. Now, I think a lot of this came from a few things rolled up into one. A lot of it is like leveling up your beast, uh, so to speak, with your skill sets that you can get and so forth. Uh, there's also some fortifying in there, as you've seen in others. Uh, there is, you can attack the behemoth uh, twice a day, sort of like rebels. Uh, so this is, it's a lot of things wrapped into one and an alliance has to be working together as well to kind of maximize what kind of rewards that you can get when you're battling the behemoth also. So in a nutshell, it's a lot of different things wrapped into one, but it's gonna bring more attack, HP, defense. Um, in a nutshell, it's just gonna it's gonna increase your it's gonna increase your march power like like crazy. Now, like I was saying, you get two behemoth trials a day. This is where you can go and using your best march against the behemoth, uh, picked on certain levels to shed as much damage as you can. Uh, unfortunately, it's only in a very small window as we've come to find, and you'll see in the footage coming up. Uh, so, will it play part like in the Monsters in Territory Defense where some of them have weaknesses against certain troops that's still being tested? Uh, so I do not have that answer for you, but we will be finding out for sure, and it will be brought to you guys in videos to come. Now, once you do your two behemoth trials uh, to gain some crystal, Titan crystals, uh, the other aspect of getting fragments for fuse, fusing ancient relics would be recruiting 500 troops of level seven and above for frags to fuse into one ancient relic. And then of course, that pair with Titan Crystals is how you're going to up these skill sets. Now, once you have chosen either infantry, cav, archer, or mages, you can always reset these skill points and spread them accordingly, or you can all together choose a different troop type and use the skill sets there. So it's a lot like beast. It's a lot like using your beast skill sets, uh, switching out beast. So far we've seen that it is free to reset, but how many times will it let you do that? That's still to be determined. Now, troop training is one of your biggest things that you can do to raise uh, these relics for the Titan crystals and so forth. So there's going to be a lot of troop training involved to get these fragments um, and things needed to update these skill sets. So the only other way that I've seen is through packs, which some were able to purchase before the packs were immediately pulled down. So that was sort of like uh, an indicator pay to play is going to be affecting this for sure. I don't know how I really feel about that. Um, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. So just to go over with you once again, each troop, you're going to have a skill set of attack, HP, and defense. And then you'll have three specifics to each. Uh, the archer, for instance, 
for instance, has damage against mages, calves, and infantry. Mages have damage bonuses against archers, calves, and in infantry. Infantry will take less damage against mages, archers, and calves. And calves will take less damage against mages, archers, and infantry. So it's good to know that also when you build these up that you can switch those out so if you're going up against an opponent that's heavy on mages well you can switch up accordingly or vice versa uh, so it is pretty cool that you can switch those out now you do once you have gotten to a certain level you'll see that you can once you've reached the smallest level which is 50 uh, you get a bonus for whichever troop type you have selected or your Colossus then it goes to 70 90 110 and 130 that's a lot and the 130 is gonna take a long time to reach especially for somebody like me but I wanted to go over each one with you and the bonuses that they do bring so we're gonna take infantry and we're gonna go down the roll here Infantry, level 50, gives you bonus damage against angels, 4.3%. 70, raises all units attack to 5.4%. 90, will give you less damage from mages, 11.2%. 110, less damage from archers, 14.4%. And then 130 is going to be the same for all across the board. And that's basically going to give you army takes less damage, 8.8%. So we're gonna go ahead and jump to the calves, which is uh, similar to infantry. Um, at level 50, you're gonna get bonus damage against angels at 4.3%. 70 is gonna raise all units attack to 5.4. 90 takes less damage from archers at 11.2. 110 takes less damage from mages at 14.4. See those cavalry and infantry were switched around there. And then 130 is gonna bring the same. Now Archer one at level 50 is going to reduce damage from Angels at 5.2%. Level 70 raises all units HP to 5.4. 90 is going to inflict bonus damage against Infantry at 7.5. 110 inflicts damage against Cavs at 9.7%. And then level 30 of course is the same with Army Takes 8.8 .8 less damage. And then finally those Mages uh, level 50 is going to be the same as the Archer as well as 70 both 50 reducing damage from angels and then level 70 raising all units HP 90 is going to bring you bonus damage against calves at 7.5 percent level 110 is going to bring you bonus damage against infantry at 9.7 and then 130 of course is the same so that's kind of where we're at in a nutshell as far as what each one brings and the differences uh, I guess time will tell what is going to be the best course of action as fighting the behem behemoths as the levels progress uh, it's rumored that if you don't attack them for a while that they will start regenerating some HP back uh, so there's gonna have to be some means of coordination and alliances to keep attacks coming maybe do it all at one time, you know, like you would do like an elite adventure, have everybody on and just smack the hell out of it until you get as high as you can. At server reset, we'll be able to gain a little more information on, does it fully reset to level one or do you just reset your two behemoth strikes? So a lot more information to come on this. I wanted to get something out to you guys to give this event or new challenge to increase your march in a nutshell to kind of get a grasp of what you're dealing with. And as the time passes here in this week, there will be a lot more things discovered uh, that I'll be sure to share with you guys in the future. But as always, if you guys like the video, smash the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, y'all keep gaming. And I'll see you in the next one.